Well, I've been commercial fishing in the Keys here since 1969. I mean, there's areas that were nothing but swamp that are now housing developments. We were on septic tanks for so long, and septic tanks aren't a problem when there's just a few of them. But when you start picking them, putting them right side by side, and these, and these waterfront developments with the canals and everyone's right there, there's really nowhere for it to go, especially on the canal. When I first moved to the Keys in 78, the waters were blue, it was clear. There were a lot of healthy corals. Today, the water's more of a green, and the corals are, with fewer left, are in pretty sad shape. The thing about the Florida Keys is they love low nutrient conditions. So if the nutrients go up in the water, algae come in and overgrow seagrasses and the coral reefs, and the whole thing goes south. We began to see that the nitrogen concentrations, particularly around the islands, were quite high. We found that septic tanks and drain fields were enriching these shallow groundwaters up to 5,000 fold. And that confirmed our, our findings that a lot of this nitrogen was coming from land, from canal systems, and from septic tanks in particular. In the 90s, there was a big push to release more water into Florida Bay, fresh water from the Everglades. So by the mid-90s, uh, we had quite a bit of science, not just mine, clearly showing that our waters were being polluted with not just nutrients, but bacteria, viruses, and other organic wastewater compounds. So there was a challenge by a group called Thousand Friends of Florida who challenged the state that Monroe County needed to build a centralized wastewater collection and treatment system. And as a result of my testimony and others, uh, the hearing officer made a recommendation to the governor and cabinet of Florida that uh, he mandate a centralized wastewater collection and treatment system for the entirety of the Florida Keys. We began developing a, a wastewater master plan and really the focus of that wastewater master plan was to eliminate these, uh, you know, these, these uh, cesspools and, and septic tanks. Uh, largely focused on uh, developing a, uh, a centralized sewage system. We have so many national parks and state parks in the Florida Keys that we realized we really needed to do a very light touch uh, wastewater collection system. The end result was that uh, we had uh, all-terrain sewers, uh, low-pressure sewers, with grinder pumps in many areas of the lower Florida Keys in some of these very sensitive environments that are sealed systems that prevent leakage of raw sewage into these unique environments and deliver that wastewater stream to the advanced wastewater treatment plant. So that effluent, even though highly treated, will never impact the nearshore surface waters of the Florida Keys. I've come through this through almost 35 years. We now have almost completely improved um, centralized sewer systems. So, you know, throughout the Keys, we will have a complete system which will ultimately eliminate those nutrients. The all-terrain sewer solution that we have here in the Florida Keys is a wonderful design that really needs to be replicated in other sensitive areas around Florida where we have a combination of sensitive water bodies, high water tables, and other, other soil conditions uh, like we have in the Florida Keys. The uh, aquatic resources of the Florida Keys bring in over $7 billion annually. And the Indian River Lagoon, over $3.7 billion annually. So even if you're not trying to save the environment in these locations, you're not worried about the corals or the seagrasses, diverting this wastewater goes a long way to saving our economy. I think this is an absolute and complete success story. We see life coming back, we see clarity of water we didn't see 30 years ago, uh, we see uh, mammals that we didn't see 30 years ago. It's a really, really a positive thing. Well, we've got a, a new sewage system going in here now that's going to take away all the septic tanks. I, d I do think there's some positive news for the Keys. We're going to these all-terrain sewage systems for the lower Keys which should improve things dramatically. The local waters can certainly be improved with a central sewage system and that's on its way. 
and it's pretty obvious. You go to housing developments where they're on some type of central sewage like Key Haven and the canals are nice. Long road, long difficult road. We have a population of, I'm gonna say when we started this, of about 80,000 residents. Uh, we know that we have tourists coming to the Keys every year. Maybe that doubles or even potentially triples the population at times. We're heading in the right direction. It's just slow and, and, um, and painful at times. Always going to have a problem as long as there's people on the planet and there's nothing, nothing, no way to stop it. But we can sure try and make it a little bit better.